After throwing away multiple ideas on what to build for our final project, we finally came up with a good and exciting idea. Our idea was to build a digitalized battleship game, or our own game box, with which two players could play against each other, accelerating gameplay and improving user friendliness. Our battleship game box required the following electronic components. An LED display to display the game, input pads to let the user input the information into our program, and Arduinos that would implement and run the game logic. We assembled the two LED displays and two input pads and tried to control them with the Arduino Maker Zero board because they were the only ones available at our lab at that moment. If you touch wires, if you touch wires, like look at this. Wait, that's so weird. Do you think we'll... <laughs> Well, okay, summary. Oh, you Day 32. <laughs> it doesn't work. So no Arduino Maker Zero. Instead, we found out that the LED display should work with an Arduino Uno, so we asked around the engineering community at our school and found one to test our code late at night. Work it's it. work. It's working! It's working! Oh my god, it took so long! Six we hours. even got this from Dunster! Six, six, six Literally. hours. The Arduino Uno also works with the input board and we discovered that we would need four of them to power and control everything, one for each device. Connecting the Arduinos to their respective devices, we now had to make them communicate with each other. For that, we used serial communication. We connected the Arduino's communication pins with each other on a breadboard, so they were all connected and ready for communication now. So we started writing the code, which we split into three main stages. The first stage. In the first stage, the players have 30 seconds to input the locations of their ships on the input pad. After these 30 seconds are over, the positions they chose will appear on the LED screen and disappear on the input pad. Each player now has their ships right in front of them on the LED display. This means that the Arduino of the input pad communicated with the Arduino of the display, sending the coordinates of the ships to the display and storing those coordinates there. After choosing your ships, stage 2 now follows. Stage 2 is basically the gameplay in which the players choose which of the opponent's cells on the grid they want to attack. With the input pad, they choose which cell they want to attack. Once they press down the button for choosing, the Arduino of the player's input pad will communicate with the Arduino of the opponent's display, checking if the chosen cell is part of the opponent's ships. If it is, that cell on the opponent's display will turn red, and the cell on the input pad will also turn red. If it is not, then the cell on the input pad will turn white, and nothing happens to the opponent's display. After the player attacked, it is now the opponent's turn, and the same algorithm begins again. Now, finally, stage 3. Stage 3 is when one player has hit all the ships of their opponent and wins the battleship game. In that case, the winner's screen will turn green and the opponent's screen will turn red. Once the game is over, you can play again. In case this overview was too fast, here are some short clips that show our progress and struggle over the week we built the game box. At the end, you will see a game in action. Forward, but never in the same direction. Why am I going crazy? You're going crazy. Okay, set. The displays are working. Yes. And NumPad is also working, so we basically did a All great job. All of that is working, basically. We just burned a wire. But... Ask. Again, what the hell? This is some kind of meta information. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what happened. Uh, we had a stupid bug. Thinking it's communicating. Let's go. Anyway, now the hard part. Lana is doing the 3D model right now. Let's go. This wiring. Say hi, Ida. <laughs> Ta da then. Okay. And here. Yes. Four Arduino Unos. <laughs> Let's burn it before we do it. Actually, we're kind of breaking safety rules because our wires can start melting anymore. It goes. So we're plugging the stuff in. 
And here, 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 see, we cannot do more. Okay. We cannot do more. Like, that's the limit. We're playing. Look at us playing battleships. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's my turn. Wait. Okay, so. I'll pretend that I can't see your board. Hit. Hit. It's your turn. Hit. Okay. Oh my god, what? Oh. Let's go. I don't know why. Okay, I should probably run oh, back. Oh yeah, let's go. Wait, are we supposed to have slides? You hit again, damn. Okay. okay.